today we're going to be talking about displaying geographic information and how we really look at these different um, vocabulary terms that we've talked about in geography and how we can use them and what forms we can use them in. So as we study geography, we will need to be able to identify the benefits, okay? So why do we look at geography? What's the point? And then we need to be able to identify the uses of different types of maps and graphs. So today we're just going to be going over different types of maps and different types of graphs and how we can utilize them best. So let's first start with types of maps. First, we have a political map. This is going to be any map that focuses on the boundaries and borders between countries, states, counties, um, anything like that. This map that you see on the screen, it shows us the different boundaries of different states and even countries where we see Canada and Mexico, um, as well as just the different states in the United States. We really just look at the boundaries and the borders here. That's what this map helps us look at. Next, we have a physical map. A physical map is going to maybe show us the boundaries, but it's really going to focus on landforms, such as oceans, mountains, valleys, and deserts. In this map on this slide, you can see the different mountain ranges. Uh, on the west side of the United States, we have the Rocky Mountain Range, and then right here we have Ap the Appalachian Mountains um, on the east coast, or closer to the east coast, okay? Um, this map is just going to show us the different um, landforms. That is what a physical map does. Next, we have an elevation map. This is a map that shows the elevation or height of land um, above sea level. So we can see using the key at the very bottom what land is the highest. So that Rocky Mountain Range area is going to be way higher above sea level than anywhere else in the United States or North America, where we can tell when we get to the coast, we get more of these blues and purples because it's closer to sea level. The ground is lower. Next, we have a climate map. Climate map is just going to um, show us climate around the world or in, this, in a specific place. Remember, climate is just weather over an extended period of time. So in this map that we see on this slide, we can tell what areas are the warmest in, um, on the globe and then what are, which areas are the coldest, okay? So again, this is just a climate map. It shows us the climate of a certain area. Um, next, we have a time zone map. Um, we all know about different time zones and how it might be one time in Ohio, but a different time in California because of time zones, okay? A time zone map is just going to show us where those time zones are and where they kind of cut off and change. All right, now it's time for graphs. A lot of the time in geography, we're going to have to look at data, and that data is going to be put into a useful form called a graph. So it will just make the data easier to look at and understand. So... Here we have a line graph. This is gonna show change over, the, over time. A lot of the time in social studies and in history, we're going to look for um, at line graphs for population changes and things like that, okay? That just change greatly over time. We're looking um, for change over time in a line graph. Next, we have a circle graph or a pie graph, okay? This is gonna show a whole divided into different parts, okay? So for this graph right here, we look at different modes of transportation and what people use the most of, okay? This is just used to display the sizes of different groups and kind of give us an idea of um, what has the majority or what is more popular at times. Next, we have a bar graph. This is gonna compare things between different groups, okay? So a lot of the time we will have two different colors or um, you'll also have to check your key. There's gonna be two different groups. So pay special attention to the title and what each axis, which here we have the X axis and here we have the Y axis. Down here we have the year and then we have the population right here. So you always wanna pay attention to what is on those um, different axes so then you can tell what information you are looking at. 